Good morning. So I wanted to take just a minute and talk to you about the most dangerous political party of them all. So I hear a lot of rhetoric from both the right and left. I um, It's like a quarter after four in the morning. I got up. My sinuses are going crazy. And uh, the only thing I can do uh, when that happens is just sit up and work with it till it clears out. So here I am. <clears throat> so when I woke up, I uh, had a, uh, a comment on a Facebook post in our local town group. And it was once again a member of Blue Team uh, pointing out all the violent rhetoric from red team and declaring that blue team their hands are clean and I sat there and you you know the first image that comes to mind is Kathy Griffin holding up the decapitated head of Trump right and then you've got Madonna you've got what is it De Niro you've got Nancy Pelosi you've got Whoopi Goldberg you've got just this slew of entertainers and politicians that have all called for violence against Trump and or Trump supporters. Now, I'm not defending Red Team and saying that their hands are clean because they're not. They're not. You can't sit there and get in people's faces and stay in people's faces and expect there not to be blowback. That is absolutely mind-blowing to me that you would expect that for four years you could run around going, winning, 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 and people not be antagonized by it. What I'm looking for is the first political party to hold themselves accountable, to take claims for what they do. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to tell you what the most dangerous political party is. The most dangerous political party is the silent majority. Those of us that wanted to be left alone. Those of us that didn't want to choose a side. And I guarantee you there are more of us than there are of either party. And there's a fairly good chance that there are more of us than there are than the two parties, the two main parties combined. I would suggest for members of both Blue and red team that you not force us to pick a side I mean if I had to go to battle if the battle lines were drawn and I had no other choice I would have to I would have to join up with red team because they closer you know have the ideals the morals that I represent it's not perfect not perfect, but it's a lot closer than what the left's ideals are. That being said, as soon as blue team was dealt with, red team we can dealt with. I mean, neither one gets a free pass from me. But there was just an attempt to take the life of a former and possibly future president. And I am appalled at how Blue Team just wants to glaze over that. There's, nah, nah. And then they turn around and they remind you about January 6th, in which was ridiculous to begin with, and as time goes by, there seems to be more and more proof of direct involvement from the three-letter agencies. And, you know, I'm not totally opposed to the thought 
that there isn't a lot more behind what happened with Trump. But I can tell you this. Ramping up the violent rhetoric, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Either side trying to force people into their camp, not a good idea. Just not a good idea. There are a lot of us that just wanted to be left alone. But our lives, our world is getting backed into a corner. I've long said that the most dangerous person is a scared person. That's true. I'll still stand behind that. But right close to that is the guy that wanted to be left alone. Shalom.